What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm finally playing Lugia. Uh, I'm also finally playing Garganackle, which is another really cool Pokemon in this regulation. Now Lugia, basically it doesn't do much damage, at least at first. But it's got multi-scale, and it's got great defenses, so there's plenty of opportunity to set up Calm Minds. With its partner in crime here, Comfey, it can heal back up to multi-scale, and just spam Calm Mind as much as it wants, and then start doing big damage with Aeroblast and Earth Power. Uh, the other great thing on this team is this Garganackle here. It's just one of the Wide Guard Pokémon. Pretty much anything that gets Wide Guard is going to be viable. But Garganackle is just a really cool mod. It used to be used a lot in the earlier regulations, but it's fallen off a bit. I think it's time for it to make a comeback. Uh, it's also got the Iron Defense Body Press uh, stuff going on here. I prefer to have Recover and or Protect on Garganackle. I think Salt Cure does enough. But it's a nice win con against super physically bulk physical attacking teams, as long as they don't have like Urshifu. Uh, and then the rest of this team is just Incineroar for fake outs that helps Lugia set up. Ogre Pond with Follow Me that helps Lugia set up. And Urshifu with Terra Dark Wicked Blow, which doesn't really help Lugia set up, but it can punch stuff, so that's cool. Anyways, let's get on to this team. Alright, we've got a Kyogre matchup. Kyogre, Tornadus, Sarina, Chen Pao. Incineroar and Metagross. This is a much better matchup for Lugia than it looks. Uh, Garganackle could be good. I wonder what that nickname translates to. God something? So I think I want to lead that. If I go Terra Fairy, then my only concern, I guess, would be Metagross Heavy Slam, but I don't think that's very much damage into Lukia. I'm not gonna look it up, but I don't think that does too much. Uh, obviously, Ogre Pond is nice, except for against Tornadus. Maybe I just go with... I can't do a Fake Out. Yeah, maybe I do go with God something or other. Ogre Pond in the back, late game, into a lot of those could be really strong. And Comfey, of course, would want to heal up the Lugia, because I'm going for a Lugia game. Yeah, this makes sense. Uh, what are the biggest fears of mine? I guess... I mean, if the Kyogre just, like, leads and has Hydro Pump, it can just get rid of my Rock Guy. That's a nice card. If you just get rid of the Rock Guy, then I can't Wide Guard, and then you can just start pounding powerful hits. Serena Metagross. Not what I expected. I don't need Garganackle in here anymore. I'm gonna go for a Calm Mind. And I'm gonna go to... Oh. Do I wanna stay in? No. No, they want to target Garganackle. I'm going to call mine, and I'm going to bring in Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's another target, though. Uh, but if I get Call Mines up, once Kyogre finally comes in, I'm not as scared of it. Oh, they're going to burn Terra right away! Oh, are you afraid of Aeroblast? Yeah, no, Lugia doesn't click attacks turn one. I don't know- Oh, it's- oh, it's Terra Ice! It's going to be Triple Axel! Uh-oh! And they're gonna break the multi-scale first. Oh, they're gonna delete Lugia. They're just gonna delete my Lugia! I did not see that coming. I mean, how could you? Well, Triple Axel has terrible accuracy. Maybe I'll just dodge. Just dodge it, Lugia! One, one doesn't do anything. Three's gonna KO. Oh! One HP! Not that it matters, but I have one HP! <laughs> um, okay, no, I can redirect. It's fine. No, it's not fine. going to Aeroblast this Sarina now that I'm at plus one, and I'm going to use Follow Me. 
Okay, they swap out their Metagross. They don't want to be locked in bullet punching. Into Chen Pao. Interesting. But I think this could be okay. Because what I can do is I can protect and then go into uh, the little flower. How much does this do? Not bad. And a taunt. Okay. So they were ready for that play if I were to do that. But I did not. So now I protect and bring in the flower. Then I can heal up Lugia before even a Sucker Punch goes off. Oh, and it's shiny. So cute. Now, do they read this and double into that slot? Maybe. Oh, they Sucker Punch, which is fine. And Bullet Seed. How much does that do? With Chen Pao there. I mean, are you... What, what's your item? I have a berry. So I'm not gonna go down, but... Are you... Are you Loaded Dice? That's interesting, because Loaded Dice, the way that interacts with Triple Axel, is if you connect the first one with 90 accuracy, you're guaranteed all three. So you still have better odds with Wide Lens on Triple Axel. I'm gonna Terra, and I'm going to Earth Power the Sarvina slot, and I'm going to Floral Healing. Because that's like my only play. But yeah, that's a really cool set. Because then your, your loaded dice can help you out with your bullet seed. Uh, is that any better than Wide Lens Power Whip? I guess it's more reliable there, but your triple axle is less reliable. Because hitting three 99% accurate moves with Wide Lens Triple Axle is better than just having to connect one time with 90 accuracy. But that's a really cool tech. I you have Taunt too? Does everybody know Taunt? Okay, at least I take that out. Oh my goodness. Now I can heal before Metagross's Bullet Punch, which is good. Because, and, and my flower isn't fun. Oh my goodness. And who I have in the back is mostly fine against Chen Pao, honestly. So I'm gonna go for an Earth Power into Metagross. And I'm gonna throw a Floral Healing this way. Because you haven't stopped me from doing it yet. I do think Bullet Punch plus Chen Pao is definitely going to be enough to pick up my flower here. Hopefully they don't go for the flower. That was a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Are you choice? Yeah, that's more damage I expect. That felt right. Lugia cannot protect, it is taunted for one more turn. Do I want to give it up? I think I do. Yeah, no, I, no I, I, need to, I need to save Lugia. I'm gonna go into Ogre Pond here to take the Bullet Punch and maybe also the Ice Spinner. And Draining Kiss will go off before a Bullet Punch even if they were rotating targets, but I don't see why they would be since they had Lugia pinned. It couldn't protect. Yeah, the Bullet Punch is still over there. I can see now an Ice Spinner going into the flower. Nope, they're still doubling that slot. Cool. Wow, that's a lot of damage though. Cool, but not like cool, cool. Okay, you know your Chen Pao is in Draining Kiss range, so you gotta protect it. I can follow me the bullet punch.
and floral healing my own ogre pond. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right. Things are looking up. Because now, I, I assume you're choice banned at this point, based on how much damage you're doing. Nice. 130 down to 81, that does about 50 damage. I can take another one. So I'm gonna follow me again. And drain and kiss your Chen Pao. Oh, you let me do it, okay. Cool. And they are out of here. <laughs> Good game, opponent. That is a dub for Lugia. All right. Ooh, Lugia versus Ho-Oh. That's so cool. All right. Ho-Oh, Fluttermane, an Urshifu of some kind, a Raging Bolt, Mamoswine, and Wo Chien. Wo Chien's a weird choice because that actually nerfs the damage of half of their team. Um, but not my Lugia. Lugia is mostly afraid of... I mean, if I go Terra Fairy, I'm not really afraid of much. I guess Ho-Oh, maybe. I would like to knock off its item or something. Garganackle's great into Ho-Oh, though. Garganackle is pretty good in their team overall. I don't want to burn Terra on it. So Water Urshifu could be scary. Uh, but I do think going with Lugia right away is good. They have a lot of vulnerability to fake out, so I think leading Incin is good. Worst case scenario is like Taunt Fluttermane. Ooh, Taunt Fluttermane could be rough. Does that make me want to go with Ogre Pond first? Not really, Ogre Pond doesn't seem very good here. Because I'm starting to think that's actually Dershifu, not Water Shifu. Because they don't have a Dark Oh, I need to pick quick. Alright, I know I want these three. I want my Dirt Shifu? No. I want... Comfey. Yeah, this is gonna have to be a Lugia-centric game. Because I don't actually have much to hit Raging Bolt, but Lugia has Earth Power. So, I mean, that's fine. And once I get a Calm Mind or two, I might not even have to Terra to take on a Raging Bolt. <laughs> Orange Duck! <laughs> is Cramorant a duck? I think it's a duck. It's something. It's some sort of fish bird. Uh, Wo Chien and Fluttermane. Uh, uh, I don't know about that. Is that gonna be a taunt, Fluttermane? Anyway, I'm gonna set up a Calm Mind. Could protect and then throw a couple of Flare Blitzes at Fluttermane. I'm worried it might actually be able to live too, though, with Wo Chien on the field. Yeah, I'm gonna play this slow and careful. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna protect Flare Bliss. See how much damage I can do. Uh, Moonblast right into Incineroar. Ow! And yeah, Leech Seed into Lugia. I don't like that. That I do not like. Okay, but I do over half to the Blood Remain. And my Incineroar is not in great shape. They targeted Incineroar. They have something that doesn't like Incineroar somewhere, so I need to get out. I need... <sighs> I need to call mine. I'm not going to do any damage without it. Do I give them Incineroar here? Maybe I do. My Terra isn't gonna help. Yeah, I think I, I think I have to force them to Moonblast the Incineroar. Ah, oh, that feels like Specs damage to me. But I didn't train this Incin, so maybe not. I assume you're gonna go for a Leech Seed, but you're at full health, so who really cares? Like, it's just doing a little bit of damage to me. Fine. <laughs> Those are big leeches. Alright, um... My Comfey had... Oh, maybe I can Terra the Comfey to sit on Fluttermane for a bit. 
That might not be the worst idea. I was kind of, I was hoping Konpei would have Protect here. Like, I don't really have enough Protect on this team to be comfortable around that Fluttermane. Maybe I take out Fluttermane now. And just Terra Drain and Kiss the Wochian just to get, start getting some damage on that thing. Because that thing can take some hits. And now, so can I. And Wochian might actually be a good source of health for my Kompei later on. So maybe I'll just keep it on the field and keep like draining back all the health you get from my Lugia. Yep, Moonblast right into it, bounces right off. Goodbye. With a critical hit. Uh, Lugia, you probably should have saved that for later. Okay, that Wochian took no damage from Draining Kiss, by the way. Snarl's fine, Lugia doesn't actually get affected by that Covert Cloak. Oh, but you crit! You crit my Comfey? Well, at least I get my berry now. That might be better that I got crit then. I'm probably at slightly higher health than I would have been otherwise. You have leftovers and you've got Leech Seed on me. I'm gonna have to go for a Helping Hand Arrow Blast into you soon. But let's focus down the rest of the team. If I leave you for last, I might be fine. Maybe? Yeah, I think Garganackle can beat you 1v1. Oh, hello. Yeah, in order to take any hit from that Raging Bolt, I should probably Calm Mind again and throw a flooring, Floral Healing to the side. Like, I don't think they're gonna Thunderclap. But I want to be able to take a hit if they go for, like, Electro Web or Thunderbolt or Volt Switch or something. Okay, plus two, maybe I'm okay now. Thunderbolt, but it's just into Kompe. Who takes it? And then Foul Play into Lugia does minimal damage. Cool. All right, I think it's time to Helping Hand Earth Power that Raging Bolt. That's what I'm going for. Still no Terra from their end, which is interesting. Haha, <laughs> cool. Yeah, you go ahead and protect. So they must be saving Terra for that then. Oh, all but one! The Comfey is now gone. All right, good work, Comfey. You did great. Uh, I've lost a lot of pieces. That not getting that KO on Bolt by that tiny amount makes a huge difference here. I think I need to arrow blast this now. I think the obvious play is Salt Cure onto Bolt. Maybe they go for Thunderclap here? I don't know. Maybe they go for Terra on Wochian, most likely. I don't think you'd be tearing the 1 HP Bolt. Oh, please don't resist flying. Okay, Water. Oh, that's, that's my, maybe okay. Are you going after Garganackle with Prejudice then? Because Terra Water is bad into Garganackle. You take that pretty nicely. Arrow Blast does a huge chunk, thank you. Foul Play finishes Lugia. Ouch. Well, Salt and Cure all day, here we go. Wochien is in Salt Cure range, because the damage at the end of the turn will finish it from a quarter. They've got Snarl, Protect, Leech Seed, Foul Play. Yeah, they're never going to be able to beat Garganackle. 
Is this Hobo? No, it's Water Urshifu! You baited me! They baited me! I was ready for Ho-Oh in the back and instead they have this? The perfect counter to my guy here? You didn't bring your restricted. You didn't bring your Ho-Oh. And you had- I had so many Pokemon weak to Ho-Oh. And you just... Wow! Wow! I'm gonna Salt Cure Urshifu because now Wochian being on the field actually helps me. But it's not like I'm gonna be able to do anything because they're doing over half with Surging Strikes. Oh, man! <laughs> okay, that's kind of hilarious. I, I'll, I'll give you this one. I was in position to win against a ho -Oh. ho -Oh in the end, I think I could have beaten. Because I'm pretty sure Salt Cure would out damage their Leech Seed. And then once Wo Qian goes down, Leech Seed no longer would hurt me. Oh. Man, and I got leftovers. And like, ho -Oh, it's Sacred Fire can't burn me because of Purifying Salt. And I resist the flying move. Maybe they have like Earthquake or something. Oh. Salt Cure would do good damage to a ho -Oh as well. Man. They had the right thing in the back. That was not what I expected. So as you can see, if you don't bring your restricted sometimes, that can win you the game. Wow. Well, now we don't get to see Lugia versus ho -Oh, so I'm actually kind of disappointed. But it was a good play, it was the right play, and you beat me. Good game, and good trainer card. All right, we've got a Shadow Rider with Indeedy. Uh, we don't have any terrain control on our side. They also have Fire Pond, Urshifu, Tornadus, and Landorus. Probably Water Shifu, if I had to guess. Which is cool because the Water Shifu punishes Ensign if you want to try to bring that against them. Terra? Dragon Garganath looks really good. Oh, I'm going with that. That's definitely what I'm going with. I'm going to commit Terra to that. And who threatens that the most would be, I mean, still Shadow Rider probably with like Expanding Force. So maybe I bring Incineroar. Or do I want to start setting up with Lugia? Maybe I start setting up with Lugia because if they do go Shadow Rider, I could just Wide Guard and they can't do anything to me. Incineroar is good. I'm gonna bring Incineroar and probably Ogre Pond, but I'm tempted to bring Comfey. Like Comfey is not gonna be able to do any damage as long as Psychic Terrain is up, which is kind of sad. And they do have two possible redirectors. No, redirection doesn't get around that. No, I'm gonna bring my Water Pond. Um, I didn't want to bring Durshifu, though it's a perfectly fine Mon to bring here, just because I assume that they're Terra Fairy on the horse, and they might want to burn it. Oh, no Trainer card, but nice eyes, I guess. Alright. Urshifu and Calyrex. Okay, so they're ready for Incineroar. Well, I didn't bring them, so. Too bad. So sad. I could see them wanting to target down Lugia. But they should be worried about Wide Guard. If I tear a dragon, I'm basically safe to go for Assault here. And then I should probably rotate in an Ogre Pond here. Like, if they know I'm not going for Wide Guard and they just Astral Barrage anyway, I could be in trouble. Uh, if they know they're in an offensively threatening position and just Nasty Plot, I could also be in trouble. Uh, they're going for Terra right away. I'm not sure what that's for. So It's just on the Urshifu? Okay, they're just trying to punch something really hard. 
got it. That's fine with me. Because you're probably punching my Overcon, which is going to appreciate it, actually. Though I guess it could be a defensive Terra for Lugia, but... I mean, I assumed you were Scarfed, but you, may not, you might not be. Then you were just defensive Terra, so Lugia doesn't OCO you. Surging Strikes right into Water Absorb. Okay, we got one thing right. Now don't... Okay, Draining Kiss, perfect. And they are Scarf Urshifu, so they're gonna have to keep doing that. So they're got, they're going. They're getting out of here. They don't want to be here anymore. So, which switch do I take? Um, I could see an Indeedy swap in. Um, I could see... I mean, they're probably just gonna want a Draining Kiss into my Garganackle, most likely. I could bring in Incineroar there. And then... Ivy Cudgel seems fine against everything they could bring in. Or do I want to hit the Calyrex instead? While it's... It's not free, they could protect, but it, you don't usually want to do that when you're being salt carried. Yeah, Urshifu swaps, that's like the most obvious switch in the world. Into Indeedee, okay. So I guess I'm a little threatened if they just went for Expanding Force here. But I don't think that's what they're going for. I'm not even sure if they have Expanding Force. But they could. Would you go for it here when I could Wide Guard? I don't know. Either way, Incineroar is going to be okay. And your Calyrex is taking damage each turn if it stays in. Wait, wait, I mean, it is staying in. Yeah, they just Draining Kiss. Good. Very good. That's awesome. Now I get some damage on Indeedee. Oh, a crit! Oh, I didn't know I was gonna crit! That's perfect. Thank you, Ogre Pond. And some more damage on this Calyrex. Thank you. It's canceling it out with these draining kisses. Which is a good reason for it to keep spamming up. But, uh, it has to be careful now. Hi, Urshifu. Uh, you turn into the Ogre Pond, or... I guess you could close combat into Incineroar. You'd probably be doubling the Ogre Pond here. have a play other than knock off follow me. So I'm gonna go knock off follow me. Ogre Pun, you did great so far. If I do lose you this turn, I salute you. Because we're gonna trade you for a Calyrex, it looks like. That's fine by me. Yeah, they don't even get the KO. So now Urshifu is locked in there close combat and they go for Expanding Force. They do have Expanding Force. That is not information I need to know anymore, though, because they are not going to have a Calyrex. Um, and I think this knockoff was a better play than trying to burn her, right? Taking that out is important. And we get to see their last. Oh, we, we're going to see their last. That means they're actually locked into close combat. Oh, they had Sash on that. Okay. Well, if they're locked into close combat. Uh, who's their last going to be? Tornadus? Landorus? And... Wish you could see from this menu. Fire Ogre Pond. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Garganackle here then. It's Landorus, got it. Alright, so Incineroar swapping out is entirely free. As free as it can be. They have basically nothing that can threaten this swap in. What they can do is they can double up into Garganackle. 
they don't get it, their Urshifu gets Salt Cured. And I think Lugia is in a good position to win this game anyway. Um, I guess their best bet against Lugia... I mean, they probably have Sludge Bomb on Landorus. That's not nothing. I don't have healing anymore. I, I didn't bring Comfey. So I guess maybe I should have just... Should I have just given up Incineroar? No. I don't think that was the play. Just to preserve multi-scale once. Oh, Landorus just protects anyway. Fine. Let's see how well we take that. Just under half. All right. And that damage is gonna start racking up. Uh, we have leftovers, so they do have to commit an attack with Landorus into Garganackle if they want to get rid of Garganackle. Which would be great. I'm gonna call mine with Lugia just to secure uh, bulk against that Landorus, and then I will throw a Salt Cure into the Landorus, and this is gonna be wrapped up real quick. I'm surprised they're still here. This, this would probably be the turn to forfeit, right? Nope, they're gonna stay in it. Yeah, that doesn't do it. You have to commit an attack with your Landorus if you want to take out Garganackle. And I'm faster than you, wow. I guess I haven't checked what this Lugia's stat spread is. Maybe it being faster isn't a surprise. Yeah, you commit your move. Cool. <coughs> Goodbye, Garganackle. You did your job, and you did it well. Urshifu is almost gone. And we bring in Ensign. Now, they are going get to a, get a move off on the Ensign, because I can't fake out Urshifu for some reason. Stupid terrain. Uh, last turn of terrain, too. If only I had lasted one more turn. Alright. Lugia, what are your stats? Only 150 speed. Why is your lander is so slow? That's weird. That's a weirdly slow lander. But I'm gonna aeroblast it. No. I'm gonna set up another calm mine because they're probably gonna protect from this fake out. And I can fake them out, because they are not touching the ground. So they do not gain any benefit from the psychic terrain, positive or negative. Not that there's any negative benefits. Doesn't even make sense. Ooh, that KOs? Okay, Urshifu! Dang! Fine, though. I mean, Lugia's the one winning this game. You've got one more turn of doing nothing. Maybe. Are you are you at a quarter yet? Or are you gonna live this on one HP? No, you're gone. Good. Goodbye. So long. Good riddance. And yeah, we are in a great winning position here. I mean, even if they get some crit sludge bombs, it's not gonna do much. And Aeroblast, as soon as it connects, will take them out. Boom. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> and then Sludge Bomb. Nice try. Um, I guess they could Protect Stall all of my Arrow Blasts? And then I miss a bunch? Alright. Good game. <laughs> After they saw that damage, they knew. GG's. Okay, we've got... Oh, Dozo Geary. Uh, plus Maridon, Iron Hands, Grim Snarl, and Teal Mask Ogre Pond. I don't like Don Dozo because it'll ignore my Calm Mind boosts. I do have Ogre Pond and Incin to weaken it up a bit. I don't know if I have a great matchup into Maridon though either, so this could be trouble. What could I do into Don Dozo? Fish for Aeroblast crits, honestly, isn't bad. Uh, I don't have a pivot move on Incin, but I do have Will O Wisp. So I have some options here. They don't really have much for a fake out lead, so maybe I just go with a fake out lead. Plus Urshifu just to do some big damage onto something right away. 
I will be bringing Lugia, of course, and I think the last is Wellspring Ogre Pond. It feels awkward not bringing Comfey, but I don't think Lugia... Like, Lugia is a big tanky mod who can win in the end game. But I don't think it's the main mode I need to be shooting for here. Yeah, I think those are the four I need. I don't think Garganacle's that great unless I Terra, but its Terra is Dragon, so it would still be weak to Dondozo, most likely. Oh, that's adorable. That's so cute. Alright, let's see what you're doing. Maybe they won't even go with Dondozo. Teal Mask, Ogre Pond, and Miraidon. Okay. Well, the, good for you. You got your Defiant boost. <laughs> That's terrifying. Alright, who could they swap into a Wicked Blow? They've got Grimmsnarl, and they've got Iron Hands. Both of those could swap in pretty freely. We've got... I think what I need to do... Do I want to burn Ghost Terra on this? No. I think I need to fake out Maridon. And we could blow the Ogre Pond. The problem is then the Ogre Pond is going to get off a hit. Okay, no protects at all, which makes sense. They flinch. They have Bullet Seed. Uh, I think I can take this. Uh, five hits and some good rolls? Maybe not. Come on, you can take this. Yes! Good job, Urshifu. I'm proud of you. Uh, could have been better, but I'm still proud of you. Okay, so the Maridon is going to use an electric move. Maybe, maybe follow me and then electric move the Urshifu. So maybe I want to go for a knockoff there and just detect for a turn. I ha This is a very scary position. I need to get reads right or I'm going to get destroyed. Okay, I got that one right. Uh, I was thinking they would follow me, not just attack. Maybe that just means they're clicking superpower. They're clicking Encore! Okay, I got you. That makes sense. Alright. I guess I have to get out. Um, Maridon's just gonna electro drift the Urshifu. I guess I can get a sucker punch off into it. Or do they want to encore Urshifu? Yeah, I guess I get out into Lugia. And sucker punch the Maridon. That's what I'm going with. This is a really bad position. They outled me pretty hard. Though I don't think Lugia out front would have been the play either. Okay, they let me get a good sucker punch in. That's some damage. Electro Drift is actually into Lugia. Whoa, where's my multi scale at? Lugia, no! <laughs> Okay, that's kind of hilarious. They're life orb. They finally hit something. So now I know they're life orb. Alright, they know I have to sucker punch. Whatever. I guess I bring out my ogre pond. And I guess I need to go for a terra dark sucker punch. To get rid of that Maridon. Uh, I guess they could... No, if they have Bullet Seed and Encore, they probably don't have Follow Me. They probably have Encore instead of Follow Me. I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel that slot, and I'm gonna Terra Dark Sucker Punch the Maridon. <sighs> because if they follow me... Okay, they, oh, they swap out Maridon. But that means I'm still getting my hit into the Ogre Pond after it hits me. Oh! 
They're bringing in Don Dozo. That's an interesting play. Uh, do I think that's clear amulet? I don't know, because they have the Teal Mask Ogre Pond. So maybe they're not worried about Intimidate. It'd be nice if I could just, like, crit here. Hmm. If there were a way for me to get Urshifu back in to Wicked Blow them without getting outsped, that would be nice. Okay, I don't think they're very afraid of me. Uh, they're not leftovers. Oh, they're probably clear amulet. They didn't burn Terra yet. But I should still go for a horn leech. And bringing in, in I think bringing in Incineroar is the right play. They know I'm locked into Sucker Punch, so I don't think they're really that worried. But I don't know if they're worried about Ogre Pond either, because they could be like Dragon or Grass Terra. Come on. They are a clear amulet. No! Yeah, and they're gonna burn a Terra now. Terra Dragon. And they're just gonna use Earthquake. Okay, uh, I don't think I can win this. Eat it up, Incineroar. You did not eat it up. What can I do? They're going to Earthquake. Um. Thinking Cat, Thinking Cat. I need to get a Wicked Blow next to a Fake Out. I don't think is going to be possible. Maybe they could throw and let me Will-O-Wisp for some reason? Yeah, this, this one's looking pretty over. If you're not already watching at 1.5 speed, maybe go up to 2. <laughs> okay. No, I think I get it. They they have to earthquake here. I need to crit a sucker punch. Yeah, that that's my win condition is critting this sucker punch, doing a ton of damage. Probably still doesn't KO. Oh, I crit it and it still didn't KO. Oh, good job, Urshifu. I I mean. You knew what the assignment was, and you did it. <laughs> oh. Okay, then I guess swapping Ensign out, and then getting a crit cudgel. They still have Maridon in the back. Yeah, this one is over. Oof. Over from turn one. Well, good game. I mean, I this team, I don't have really great answers to Dondozo, and you abused that. <sighs> Mostly by baiting out the Terra, and that Encore was brutal. Yeah, there was so much there going against me. Oh, uh, yeah, and you do have order up, so you can hit this Ogre Pond hard as you want. Oh, but I live. One of those. All right, let's crit an Ivy Cudgel, and then you throw for five turns. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> okay, I'm actually just going to run this time. Good game opponent. Dondozo, I feel like, has a place in this meta, only because people aren't ready for it. And we are back. That was a fun set of matches, if I do say so myself. Uh, Lugia is a really cool mod. I think it's a bit outclassed in this format. I think if you're gonna go for a bulky Calm Mind setup mod, uh, Terrapagos is probably the way to go. But Lugia does have some stuff over Terrapagos. It can Terra into a different type, for example. 
But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. There's the rental code if you want to try it. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.